in this satisfactory 5 minutes tips video we're taking a look at the awesome sink and shop. First we need to unlock the resource sink boats program from the hub. The awesome sink lets you recycle items for coupons and you can use these coupons to buy unique items you cannot get any other way from the awesome shop. So now that's unlocked we can build the resource sink. It needs power, so let's hook it up to the grid. Each awesome sink takes 30 megawatts of power. In the awesome sink user interface you can see how many points you need until the next coupon. There's a graph of how many points you received in the last few minutes, how many coupons you currently have, there's a button to print coupons. But you cannot send items in directly from this user interface. You need to hook up this awesome sink to a belt for that. So let's set up a storage bin and connect it with a belt to our sink and send some items in to see what happens. I've got plenty of concrete, so let's use that. And there they go. And now we're collecting points. The first coupon costs 1000 points, but they get more expensive. After three coupons, the number of points needed increases, and it increases fast. Here's a little overview of how many points the first 30 coupons cost. So the three are 1000 points, but the 99th coupon already costs half a million points. When we have collected 1000 coupons, they will need more than 45 million points each. You can send a lot of different item types into the resource sink, and each type gives a different amount of points. In general, the more processing it takes to create an item, the more points you will get for them. Here's a list of all the items you can send into the sink and how much points you get for them. As you can see, basic ores give only a few points. And the concrete we're sending in right now gives us 12 points each. Concrete is actually quite good. It's easy to produce, much easier than for example steel ingots, yet we get more points for concrete. Processed items generally give you more points than the ingredients would separately. There are however exceptions, like flower petals and color cartridges. Here's the full list just for completeness. I took this from the satisfactory wiki. I'll add a link to it in the description. And the best item to sing currently are turbo motors. So, how far are we? Oh, almost one coupon, nice. Let's print it and spend it. To buy stuff we need to build an awesome shop. The awesome shop is filled with cosmetic items. You don't really need these, but it makes it possible to build nicer factories. There are different wall types. Wall attachments for cables, pipes, and belts, all sorts of different foundations to build, for example, a skate park. And if you have a skate park, you need a vehicle, so the Fixit factory cart. There's also stuff to make your factory safer, statues to add some bling to your factories. You can also buy some parts needed for manufacturing, should you miss one of those few items you need to unlock a new milestone for example. But the most important item of all is obviously the Fixit coffee mug, and it only costs one ticket. Yay, we're ready now for some awesome screenshotting. You can build multiple awesome sinks and they communicate with each other. So the left one here is connected to the bin and is still burning through the concrete. And the right one is not connected, but if we open the interface you'll see the same points and coupons we saw on the left one. We can even print the coupons from this one. And we have two more now. And if we go back to the left one, you see the coupons are gone there as well. So this makes it possible to build a lot of awesome things. I do that in my let's play safe as you can see right here. The factory to the right was the last one I built. I built this while streaming on Twitch by the way, so if you want to see what I'm building now, follow my Twitch. 
The outputs from this factory are not being used yet, but to test the factory I've hooked up all the outputs to the sinks. This way I get lots of coupons while debugging the factory at the same time, so that's a win-win. I hope you liked this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more satisfactory content. And oh, one more thing, it is possible to send coupons back into the awesome sink. Fix-It Incorporated does not waste.